Do you know why I will succeed? It is because I am addicted to success. Fortune favors the brave. To the ones who are willing to risk it all. To the ones who are willing to put it all on the line. The ones willing to go against the grain. The ones who stand out from the crowd. The game changers. The different thinkers and industry changers. Fortune favors the brave. The different and willing. Normal and average does not change the world. It takes something special and someone different. That is why fortune favors the brave. I suffer from ambition. I'm addicted to success and I refuse to be average. I love it. That feeling of winning, it gets my heart racing. That feeling of achievement is what I live for. I'm not here to lose. It is in my destiny to win. Success is in my veins. Don't wait for things to happen. Make things happen. Boldly go in the direction of your dreams. Move forward with consistency and confidence and you will reach your goals. Be strong. Be brave. Be fearless. You want to be successful. You want that dream home and the car to match. You got to be brave, man. What you are asking from life isn't average, so you won't get it with average work. It is your mindset that separates the best from the rest. You don't want success, you have to have it. It is a requirement to your life. If you are not winning, you don't feel right. If you are not winning, you don't sleep at night. If you're not succeeding, all you want to do is win. Better than anything else, you have to win because it is your destiny. Don't quit. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Do whatever it takes to get that success. Do whatever it takes to achieve your goals. Do whatever you can to be the person you want to be. You want something special, you better put special work in. Being brave isn't being fearless. Being brave is feeling fear, feeling scared, weak, and doing it anyway. I suffer from ambition. I'm addicted to success and I refuse to be average. It is looking in the face of your worst fears and taking them head on. Once you have had that taste of true success, you want it again and again and again. There is nothing to top it. So why search for anything else? The best thing you can have in life is success. So go out there and get it. Don't deny yourself of it. You have one life to get some. It's not being fearless. It's being fearful and still fighting. When times are hard, you work. When it rains, you work. When it storms, you work. When you are poor, you work. When you are down, you work. When you fall, you work. When you fail, you work. When everything is stacked against you, you still work because all this work leads to success. All this work will get you what you want. I am willing to take a risk because I understand that this is what leads to big success. I am willing to put it all on the line because I know this is what it takes to get to the high levels of success I want. I am willing to put all my time into this because I want the life in my dreams so bad. I am brave enough to dedicate my time to this. 
I believe in my grit and determination. I will move through my life bravely. I am always willing to endure pain for the reward of success. You are not born a king. You become a king. Glory is not handed to the lazy and weak-minded. Glory is for the brave. It is for the go-getters, the risk-takers. I will never quit because I am a king. I will never surrender because I am a king. I achieve my goals because I am a king. I will sacrifice for my dreams because I am a king. I am strong, I am powerful, I am great, I am brave, I am the hardest worker in the room at all times because I am a king, I am a natural born leader because I am a king, I will be great because I am a king. I will be great because I am a king. I will be great because I am a king. People want to see you fail, but when the dogs bark, the lion is still the king. He is always the king. I will get back up. I will never back down. I will keep fighting. I will push forward. I will keep going. You must be willing to sacrifice the nice things now to get the success you want. You have to be willing to get up at 5 a.m. You have to be willing to work till your legs can't go no more. Sweat so hard, the gray top gets darker. Give that little bit more. You forget to sleep. Set your goals that little bit further that you're always chasing them down. I suffer from ambition. I'm addicted to success and I refuse to be average. I'm not here to lose. It is in my destiny to win. Success is in my veins. Why is it up to anyone if you succeed? When you have spent your whole life listening to other people's opinion on you, it takes courage to find your own voices. But it is you who decides who you are, not others. The biggest factor of success is self-belief. Believing you can do it. Believe you are capable. Believing it is possible for you. It is possible for you because you are a king. Kings are not dreamers. They don't dream for success. They work for it. They don't hope for riches. They go out there and earn it. We are worthy of success, but we must pay the price of sacrifice to earn it. What are your limits? I see a lot of people out here living way below their limits. You are living way below what you are capable of. Why would you do that to yourself? You need to spend a few months finding out what your limits are. Like, what are you really capable of doing? What do you have in a tank? Too many of you guys don't realize how powerful you could be. Do you even realize how powerful you can be? It is crazy to me. We could have the next Steve Jobs here, but you have never found out your limits, so how would you ever know? How are you gonna race a car when you don't know its limits? You are not gonna push it as hard as you could push it until you know what that thing has under the hood. You need to find out what is under your hood. How far can you push your body? Athletes should be testing this on a regular. 
If you are not putting yourself through hell on a regular basis, you don't know what you are capable of. If you know what you are capable of, you can push yourself further. You can push yourself harder. You can change those limits on a daily basis. You see, there are no limits to what you can achieve except the limits you place on yourself. You are the only one who is limiting your potential. Shoot for the moon and if you miss, you'll still be among the stars. If you put a limit on what is possible for you, you will never reach the heights you deserve. Nothing should be off the table. You want to win an NBA championship? It is possible. You want to be the president? It is possible. Run a Fortune 500 company? It is possible. Richest man? Possible. Possible, possible, possible. Hard? Yes. But impossible? No. But the moment you say it isn't possible for you, it is the moment it becomes impossible for yourself. Don't put limits on yourself because you are the only one who controls your fate. Believe in yourself. In the morning, what are you thinking about? When you daydream, what are you thinking about? At night, what are you thinking about? What are your sleeping dreams made of? What can you talk about for hours on end? When you are on YouTube, what videos do you gravitate towards most? Who are your idols? If you go into the library, what section do you go to? What are your true dreams, your true passions? These are your answers. These are the things you love. You love them so much, you unconsciously dream about them at night. You love them so much, you unconsciously dream about them at night. You wonder and ponder these thoughts for the rest of your working life. You can talk for hours and everything and anything to do with this thing you would happily spend your spare time watching, reading and listening to. But why? Why are you happy to do this for no pay, but then unhappy to do what you do for a living and get paid? Why do you constantly give your time to this thing for free? But you wouldn't dare do that for anything else. Why? Because you love it. Because it makes you happy. because it is your true calling and because it is your true passion. So my question is, why don't you do it for a living? Why don't you do the thing that makes you happy as your job? Why don't you say, screw it. I wanna feel fulfilled. Screw it, I'm doing this for the rest of my life. Don't wait until retirement to do the thing you love. The time is now. Tomorrow may never come. Excuses are things that stop you from living your best life. Money is usually the biggest excuse of all. I can't earn money doing what I want. That's what I hear. But with the internet, there are thousands of ways to turn anything into a living. Maybe what you mean is you earn more money in the job you hate. So your decision is, do you like money more than being happy? Do you like money more than feeling fulfilled? Do you like money more than your passion? We feel trapped into a life of needing more money or a life of climbing the career ladder. We miss the chance to actually be happy, be truly happy. You need to have faith that following your passion will make you happier and will provide you with an adequate living. Allow your passion to become your purpose and soon enough your passion will become your profession. Be the best at what you enjoy. 
Be the best at what you enjoy most and the rest will work out. It is a giant leap of faith, but a leap of faith you will never regret. There are worse things in life that can happen when following what you love to do. The worst thing that can happen in life when you are doing what you love to do is you do what you love. The best case scenario is you do it and you get paid. Either way, you were happy in the process and either way, it beats living a life you hate. Working a job you can't stand and paying debts you don't need. You have probably heard it before. Do a job that you love and you will never have to work again. It is true in some ways, but I prefer do a job you love every day and you will love the hard work. You see, when it means something to you, hard work means something. It has value. Hard work feels good. You know it results in you getting better. Hard work for someone else's dreams is what is making you feel bad. It is what makes you feel down because you are advancing someone else's future goals at the price of yours. Some people don't know what to do, but I like to imagine if I had all the money in the world, all the money I knew what to do with, I'd bought all the jets, all the cars, all the homes, I'd traveled the world, I'd made investments, helped my family out, donated money, everything that most lotto winners say, I did it all and I had money left. What would I do then? Would I just sit down on the sofa watching TV all day? Would I carry on spending money all the time? Because I'm pretty sure that would get pretty boring after a while. So what would you do? What is the first thing that comes to mind? If all money problems were gone, all life's problems are gone, what is the first thing you would do? Some would say a novel, some would say make a film, some would start a new company or create a new product. But why, when you have all the money and all life's problems are gone, are you able to do what you are truly passionate about? If you know what you would do in this situation, that is what you should do in the situation you are in right now. You already know what you want to do, but you are restricting yourself with barriers. Remove the barriers, what would you do? You only have one chance at this. And if you get caught up in the rat race, you spend most of your life making somebody else's dreams come true. Don't pay the price for someone else's dreams with yours.